So it's pretty rainy out, as you can see. So I haven't been riding. I really would like to ride today because it's like 60 degrees outside. So I'm getting kind of stir crazy. Um, so I decided to swim by Home Depot, pick up some wood, and build me one of those uh, manual machines to try and improve my manual skills. So hopefully uh, this will work. So we'll see how it goes. First thing is getting all the measurements down. So I'm gonna be doing this with the stump jumper, not uh, my cross country bike. However, we do have a lot of different size bikes. Um, my wife's a 27.5, my two are 29s, and my son's a 26, my daughter's a 24. So I'm gonna try and figure out a way to make this fit all of them. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna take the measurement of the longest bike, which is the stump jumper. Just take the overall length, make sure you got enough. And you want the vertical piece, so I'm cutting 23 inches off the back, which is pretty much the height of the rear, about halfway up the rear wheel. Um, well, a little bit more than halfway. Uh, not all the way, because when I come back, I don't want to hit the back, but enough that it's going to support the wheel. Um, so I'm going to cut those. Unfortunately, my batteries are all dead to my stuff, so I'm waiting for those to charge. Um, so I'm going to cut that off and put the vertical here, which is the back of the tire. Put some braces in. And uh, we'll see how it works. Now the upright is in, braced, that should be pretty strong, that shouldn't give it all, no matter what. Um, we're going to measure the width of the tires that we're going to go in there, so we can get the spacing right so the tire fits nice and snug in there. So I'll take a quick measurement of my wheel. Two and a half should do it. So I'll do a little math here, my broken pencil.
loosey goosey in there. All right, so all done. All done. Here she is. Got a wedge in here to push the back wheel in tight to the back. Keep it nice and snug. In here, I'm gonna put a little eye hook. I don't have one, so I'm gonna to go get one um, in order to tether the front of the bike down. Um, this, these wings here, um, a lot of people put them in the back for further stability. Um, I've seen some people put them in the front and make it much harder. Well, you're up on the back wheel, you have much less stability. I decided to put it in the middle um, for kind of a mix of both. So hopefully it, it's not so stable that if you start to fall over, you tackle your rear wheel, but it's stable enough to give you some sort of support. So let's try this thing out. So it works. Um, yeah. Gonna need a lot of practice. So I've been working on this for a bit. Still haven't quite totally figured it out. But we're gonna see progress here.
you have. <laughs> this one, yeah. So I'm not sure if I need that front strap. If you grab the rear brake, it kind of stops you from, from coming over. But uh, it's a great tool, it's pretty fun. Definitely occupying the time on a, on a rainy day. Wish I could be out riding, but because it's like 60 degrees outside, like I said before. But I'm working up a sweat in the garage. Alright, that's enough for today. Thanks for watching guys. Please, if you like it, hit the subscribe, hit the subscribe button and like it.